As a vintage pattern seller for the better part of 12 years, there are very few boxes that make me go, what? This is one of them. And you'll soon see why. Now to be very clear, I did not get this in the giant estate sale hall. So these are going to be actually much older than that. Think late 40s, early 50s with some mid 50s thrown in. And honestly, I have no idea what's in the box. So it could go any which direction because this was a box that a friend from California had sent me because she thought she was going to be a vintage pattern seller, realized it was a whole butt ton of work and decided that wasn't for her, which is completely valid, but all the better for me because what she sent me were 10 of the best boxes that I have seen in a very long time. And I decided to save the best one for this video. Don't fall out, don't fall out, don't fall out, don't fall out. And I promise it's not wine. Although that would make the video more exciting, wouldn't it? We're gonna start with the first three that I showed you. Now, as these are in decent plastics, also known as not plastic bags, they are already acid-free bags. I'm gonna try and leave them in there as much as possible. Also, cause I don't want the pattern pieces to float away. But this is Simplicity 4895 in a bust. 38. Wrong. That says 38. Not this time. 38, my friends. No. But this amazing pattern has a wonderful like ruffle neckline, which personally I probably wouldn't go for. I would do the bows. It does have a little bit of a drop down waist and a softly gathered skirt. And I can't read. It's a size 18 bust 36. You're starting strong, Stephanie. Anyway, it's a larger bust size. And this is absolutely from the 1940s with that 15 cent price tag right down there. Oh, it's so good. And it feels factory folded, which means for those of you who haven't been here before, that means that this pattern never been used, never been used, made in the factories in the 1940s, time traveled to the year of our Lord 2023 and is still as it was on the day that they produced it. Like you're not missing pieces. The envelopes were more worse for wear, but that doesn't really matter. Another glorious 1950s number is simplicity. 2106 in a bus 36. That crossover cannot be understated with how pretty that is. I've literally been dying to show you this box. It's been sitting on my floor in my office for months now. And I just, I finally had the energy and the dress and the lipstick to finally do it. But like, ugh, how good is this? I just love it. It's spectacular. Ah, and for those of you that play the game of drinking every time I say cute, I advise water. Please drink your water. Okay, can you actually see that? Not really. A few moments later. A bust 40 from the 1940s. You can't beat it, You be, uh, except for like bust 42s, 40, like the larger size. Ah! And it's got the little slightly gathered drape. So it's gonna pull up into this left hip and then have a drape down here. Which means that whole side panel is gonna kick out to one side. But this scoop neckline. Now here's the thing. I think that the scoop neckline is beautiful. I think you're missing a little <clears throat> anatomy happening there, but that's neither here nor there. That's on the drawing people. That's not on the pattern, but I think it would look really spectacular. A little heads popping off there. This is Simplicity 4962 in a bust 38. Actual 38 this time. I can, I can read those numbers apparently. Just a really lovely button down the front. This actually has sort of the neckline of my favorite dress pattern. It's not the one that I used for it when I made Baby Yoda, the Christmas one, and the mock-up out of the 30s material, but it has that same style of neckline. So I feel like this would look really nice on folks with the more ample bust like myself. And for those of you that like half sizes, Simplicity 4730 in a bust 39 is going to be more for you. This has, the half sizes have slightly different proportions. And as we can see here in the Simplicity 1958 Spring Pattern Book, Scotty's Corner gives us the definition of half sizes as, half size is not a weight nor an age, it's a body type. The half size pattern has a shorter shoulder and a shorter waist and skirt, and it is proportionally fuller at, in the waist and hips. If that is you, there you go. I personally have also used them as well. Although I did realize now that I should have dropped that waist about a half inch. So maybe keep that in mind if you're the taller and more voluptuous of the bunch. But yes, this lovely early 1950s, if I recall correctly, has got a really nice full skirt and the V-neck with the extra collar on top. 
And yes, if you are looking to add any of these to your personal stash, you will want to head over to my website, Backroom Finds. I launch all of these patterns about a half hour after the video launches. That way you have time to fully get through the video and jump on over, just so you know. But now we have Simplicity 1552. Now this one is a little bit smaller. It's a bus 34, but it does not make it any less spectacular. Okay, except for maybe the gobs of old tape that are on it. Yes, because Ghost is with us as well. Yeah, so this is why I say don't use old tape, because all around here you can see the yellowing and the fracturing that has occurred, and I can peel this right off, thankfully, because it has no more sticky. No more sticky to it. Oh, she says, and then manages to find the one that still has sticky on it. That's why. That damage right there, there's nothing I can do to stop that, and I want this stuff off to stop the leaching into the paper. Sometimes I do get a little damaged, it's not ideal. Had I realized that this one was sticky, I would have taken my hair dryer, warmed it up a little bit to get the residue loose, but usually these are so crispy, they just come right off, so I'm not perfect, what can I say? cause the least amount of harm. And to me, the tape on the pattern is more harm than it's worth. But this is a really nice tucked shoulder up through here. You either have the short sleeve or the three quarter length sleeve through here. And it's got the nice pleats at the front. I believe you can make the belt. You can make a belt. You can make that belt. You cannot make that belt. But honestly, just open it up, turn it into a semicircle. You'll be fine. Now, Simplicity 2848 is an interesting pattern because it is one that I have in my personal collection but mine is missing the bodice front to this. I was able to go to one of my friend's house and trace out the bodice front, but I will say this one thing. It says simple to make on the front, but that only means that there are five pattern pieces. And what do you get with fewer pattern pieces? That means you have to learn how to sculpt those pattern pieces more, unless you're making an honest to God gathered skirt and then Bob's your uncle, it's three, and no, not that Bob. Is it a running joke at this point? I sure hope so, because I think it's funny. <laughs> But this one is going to be another half size 16 and a half, which is a bust 35 with our late 1940s glory right here. And it is, it's just, it's literally five pieces. You have a front, a back, an armhole facing and two skirt pieces and you have a dress, but you will have to learn how to sculpt it to you. And that is the deceptive challenge of these. Now it is a good thing that I already have something extraordinarily close to Simplicity 1598, or I would be very tempted for that to be the one that I kicked to keep out of the box. And that's right, you heard correct. Because I go through so many of these, I allow myself one, one singular pattern. You don't have to be me. You can keep more, but that is my rule for myself to keep myself from swimming through sewing patterns instead of having a room. But I really like this one. I, it's because it looks like my dress that I just absolutely love. You've got a slightly straight line shoulder through here, slight gather so you have room for the bust, but this one has a cute little sweetheart. The biggest difference between the one that I have and this one is that this one you don't have an option for the solid back like you do with mine. This one only has the contrast, which, you know, I enjoy the contrast version as well. Oh, Simplicity 1579. Mmm, the sweetheart neck, the little attachment detail, the capelet, and the pockets. <sighs> It is only a bus 36, but that is still a pretty decent size. I say about 10 inches either way. You can grade it and, ha and not lose the integrity of the pattern. So this will not be a keep for me because I am setting at like a 48, 49, but man, that's good. And they give you the little buttonhole in the capelet so you can button it on. That's so cute. And it would keep you from losing the capelet. That's so smart. And there was really no way we were gonna get through the entire box without finding one of these. This is Simplicity 1467. It is a bust 30. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this pattern. It's just, I was hoping for a mostly plus size box that we're gonna cross our fingers that, cause I really don't know. I went through about eight and went, nope, 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 doing this on camera. So we're gonna hope that we stay in the plus size, but I do enjoy this for that skirt right there. That's very, very cute. I like the tux as it goes up into the center. Other than that, it's a pretty standard, but I do enjoy this notch neckline over here. It looks like a little star, very cute. And my voice probably will go out some point in this, enjoy. Oh no, okay, these are the nasty plastic bags. We definitely don't want those. To get them out of these resealable ones, I don't use these because if they're too tight, they will rip the edges of the pattern envelope even more. So I always tear one side. That way you can angle your pattern out without hurting it. Simplicity 8403 is quite the number. 
lovely sheath dress with a little Peter Pan but slightly pointed down collar. And you have this very boxy overcoat slash tunic with giant patch pockets. Listen, I'm here for the pockets. Uh, it's not my cup of tea for this one. Definitely not one I'm going to keep. It's also only a bus 34 and I ain't got that kind of time. Ooh. Uh, where'd your head go, ma'am? <laughs> It's in there somewhere. Simplicity 1773, whilst having a little bit of a rough time up in the head region, is a bust 34. It is a lovely Ampere waist sheath dress. I love the little bow accent, very Midge Majel. Oh, I like the pleats on this one. Why you gotta be a bust 36? This is Simplicity 4357 with a double breasted front with a V neckline, but look at those pleats. You can also do the asymmetry, which of course that is I love those patterns. Do I make them enough? No. Should I? Yes. But here we are. This lovely 1950s dress is absolutely spectacular. I'm guessing these are like little cuffs that point up, sort of like the Haunted Mansion dress that I made, but slightly higher on the shoulder. Scaloops. Oh. oh, man, that's cute. Mm, that's so cute. I like it so much. So Simplicity 4263, let's be real. Would this probably look good on me with like the, the flat panel front, but these day, uh, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I like my dresses to have more detail than this. So I'm probably not gonna keep this in the stack, but I am gonna burn that little cutesy like diagonal into my brain for future use. Cause that's cute. Again, water, I'll do it too. And that's a scrap from my daughter's dress. Don't know how that got in there. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, I like when I find this one. Simplicity 2880. I love this sundress with the slight gathers at the bust, the fitted waist, and the little bolero jacket. That's good. It's a bust 34. Too small for me to keep, but very cute. Should I ever manage to find it in the 38? That would be a different story, but that one will find a new home because I don't have that kind of time. Oh, yeah, this is... See, this is why I wanted to share this box with you. Simplicity 3262 is spectacular. Again, is going to be a bust 34, which is that size 16. But man, the details on this are just lovely. I love the tie at the shoulder. I adore the like side gathers with the button in the front. <sighs> if only, if only. But you will find a new home. Oh, Simplicity 1678. This is gonna be another bust 34 another good sheath dress you can see it down through here in the blue it but it does have these little tab accents at the pockets and the jacket has a mimicking tab accents along the bottom but it is a button back which for me is not ideal when it comes to bolero jackets because that involves like find a friend or go like this until you can get it situated <laughs> but it does have a lovely scoop back if you just want to wear the dress why are you out of your envelope oh god bro The heck. I'm going to slide you into your envelope so you don't fly away like that. There. Oh, yeah, this one. I'm in trouble in this box. I know it right now. I know it right now. Simplicity 2026. You might know this because they have done a reissue of this. I will put it here. I don't know what the heck the number is. I can't be bothered to put that crap to memory. This is so cute. And it's the large, which is a 3840 which I can amalgamate up to my size. This happy bunny is going to the maybe pile. Uh-huh, this is the, the, I'm, it's gonna be a problem. Buh! Oh, it's so pretty. Why is it only a buzz 34? Uh oh, because they're trying to keep me honest in my one per box. Simplicity 1607. Ah, uh, look at the cute little swimsuit with the pockets. Do, would you like a swimsuit? Would you like pockets? 1950s has got you covered, man. And it also has the lovely little beach cover up. Man, oh man, that's good. I just want you to be the largest size. <gasps> Which is a 42. Oh man. Boo. Well, I will say, my friend did occasionally find duplicates of them. So may maybe, maybe I can find the biggest size. Cause that'd be cute for the summer. And Oh yeah, I've seen this one before. Very sweet. 1940s example of one piece dress. You can see through here that it's got the notch neckline. It's got the full raglan sleeve all the way up to the neck. 
It is a bust 36. And do it with the bow. If you're going to make it, do it with the bow. That's real super cute. Very, very sweet. Do you have instructions? You feel, oh no, you do. Okay. I was like, well, you feel light. Have you figured out why I wanted to share this box with you now? Yeah, because I, I love the 40s and the 50s lines. That's where my heart truly is. Not that the 70s and this amazing estate sale aren't spectacular, but <laughs> 40s and 50s, man. Oh, this is another good sheath dress. Simplicity, 1410, a bust 36 for this go around. This is one of the more simpler ones, except it does have that really nice banded collar up along the top. Oh yeah, that's that's really good. And this one actually comes with like the little detachable bow that you can make, I think, and the dicky. Let me see. They're actually different versions of collars, not a dicky. And an okay shape, actually. Oh my, um, Bob Dis you what? Like something went nom 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 noms. I mean, it happens. As long as it doesn't go to the pattern, you're okay. Well, let's just see. Oh no, yeah, pattern's all right. It was just the envelope, that's good. Simplicity 4615 and a bust 34 this go around. This is going to be a button up blouse with a very large yoke and slight gathers right there at the bottom of it. And you can do the ruffle if you so choose. And a nice gentle gathered skirt and it does have a pocket, which we love. Now all of these that I am receiving are what we call unchecked patterns. These are patterns that you could buy like off of eBay. It will literally say, as is, uncounted, unchecked, all of those things. Ooh. And that's what these are. So I actually, before I sell them to you, I go through and check them. Are they factory folded? Are they complete? Or are they lace sad? There's always some in the lace sad category every time. You never get through an entire box with perfect patterns for every single one of them. Oh my God. Whoa now. Okay, I'm not one for sheath dresses, but Simplicity 4228. Dang, wow, that's good. So what's interesting about this is that this wrap detail is not actually like attached. It's not a piece that then you inset a seam into. It is an overlay. So instead you would attach somehow like you're creating the shoulder. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the construction underneath this. It is a bus 38. And hey, look, it's the British printing. But that is very intriguing. I don't know how that would look on me, but I, I need to look at the construction to this just in case. So we're gonna put you in the maybe pile. Cause wowzers, that's cool. Into the 1960s with simplicity 6971. You have got either a straight across yoke with a slightly higher collar uh, that looks like a self collar. It doesn't even look like it's added on there. Nope, that's just a cowl. That's what that is. Very high cowl neck. Or you can do the crossover yoke. And little patch pockets. Oh, let's hope they're in. Why did we put a welt on there if there's no pocket? I vote whoever makes this, open that puppy up and give yourself pockets because that is silly. If there's going to be a welt there, there should be a pocket there. That's my thoughts. Ooh, one I don't have to take the plastic off of. Amazing. A bus 38, a, vi a very intriguing bus 38. I looked and was like, oh yes, a sheath dress. Okay, we know what those are, but like, look at the, what in the box pleat is happening there? Is that what's happening there? I do like the bow though, to give the definition, but um, I feel like there's like box pleats at each interval. How intriguing. Uh, definitely not for me, but cute. Water, oh boy. <clears throat> um. Uh, uh, yeah, I've got two of them there because shrink wrapped, not ideal. Fine for fabric, not for patterns. They tend to stick more. Come the heck off there. Yeah, please don't do this. I, heck, a Ziploc bag is better than this. Come on, come out. Eh. Now we can properly look at Simplicity 8734. I don't like a lot of 60s as we know, but that's fun. I like that it goes all the way through. And I like how they use the frog closures to kind of give it an accent. It is a bus 38, so I am not, I'm not sizing up a 60s pattern. No, no, that's, that's not what we do around here. But ooh, however you, mm, you're 40 though. Wow, that's pretty. Simplicity 1287 in a bus 40. The shirring at the shoulders, the tucks at the waist. I don't like the skirt. I'm not straight line skirt. I understand this was because of the time period. This was probably mid forties in the war. You were trying to use less material. Totally get it. Not a problem. I would never use that skirt. However, that bodice is real cute. 
Okay, fine. We're gonna, this is gonna be hard. We're gonna put it over here in the maybe pile. I'm gonna have such a hard choice to make. Mmm, notched neckline. It is bus 32 for simplicity, 3574. But that notched neckline is very fun. I like the shawl. And of course, you can never, never diss a pocket. Is it a little flappy? Are you gonna see the wrong side of the fabric? Absolutely, you are. But you have pockets, so it's okay. It's okay. Oh, wasn't that intriguing? Is that the back panel? Is it an accent? I don't know. Uh, I really like the button up. It's just a, your basic shirtweight dress until you see whatever is happening up here. Let's see, what are you? It's some type of tag accent. That is not something you see every day on a pattern. It's pretty cute. It is a bus 34, so it will not be staying with me. Oh, cute. Mm, dang it, more asymmetry and I love it. I like though, especially how they did the color block. It's a Simplicity 1347 in a bus 34. Mmm, the asymmetry we love. Unfortunately, that means you're getting one pocket unless you're gonna like do an inline pocket on the other side, but Bob's your uncle, you'll at least get one. And no, not that Bob. For those of you that are wondering, I had a box trio a while ago where like a little mouse friend had left us little presents. So thankfully he has not, he did not find other boxes because obviously those were shipped in. And Bob lives in a different state. He's an out of town Bob, he sure is. Oh, well speak of the devil. It has a bus 38 of Simplicity 3262. And I might be eating my words because that, that bodice, that bodice and that collar, man. Is it going to suck to size up? Absolutely it is. Mm, you can go in the maybe pile because you're real pretty. Oh, this is me so hard. One pattern. Why? I know why. I know why. Oh, wow. More asymmetry. Simplicity 43.99. Another lovely asymmetrical dress. Going to be buttoned along the left hand side. It does, however, have a little tab accent that can either run through the entirety of the bodice or not. And it has two skirt options as well. You can either do the sheath skirt or the full skirt with slight pleats. It looks like, oh no, gathers, gathers along the side. We do love a good asymmetry moment. Ooh, cute. Simplicity 7475 is going to be a bust 38. This is a very mod shift dress. It's got the bow at the waist. You can either do a cowl neck, it looks like. Oh no, it's a rolled collar. And it does have either a tabbed accent or you can do that big old bow. I don't do the late sixties usually. Oh, fun. Simplicity 4740. Unfortunately, I can tell you right now, this is not the type of tape that I can take off. That is too new. That's like nineties level tape, not like 80s and 70s, which is much harder and easier to peel. Uh, this is much newer. So that unfortunately is gonna have to stay. But this bus 34 has the cute little crossover right up here, kind of like my bow, except, you know, smaller down and less floof involved. And it does have a really nice full skirt and it is a dolman sleeve. So you're gonna have that one entire piece for your whole bodice as opposed to setting the sleeves in. Oh, there are girls patterns in here. Okay. Simplicity 5296. Cute little girls pattern from the late 50s, early 60s. Gonna be just a really easy button up blouse skirt. Probably a very good school outfit in a size 12. Somebody got a little creative down here. That's okay. That's what kids tend to do. Bam. Skirt pattern. Simplicity 2654. We are looking at a waist 26 on this one. I do enjoy that you get a range of skirts, so it's not just a gathered or a full skirt. You are getting a sheath, an A-line, and a, looks like a full circle skirt. Oh yeah, definitely. That is a full circle skirt. And these ones, while they do say simple to make, actually will be simple to make. Unlike once you start fitting the curves of this portion of your body, that tends to be a little bit harder. Not impossible, just harder. Ooh. Another bus 38. <gasps> They're secret pants. They are culottes. Simplicity 3711 is a bust 38. They are going to be culottes. Probably this jumper, probably none of the blouses, if I'm being very clear. Apparently she wanted to make it out of a woven. We love that. But yes, those are indeed secret pants. Thank you, Rachel Maxi, for coining that term because accurate. Now, are these quite as involved as Rachel's with like the overlapping front? No, no, absolutely not. They're just standard culottes. Oh, 
that, that's a tennis dress. T what, tennis? Tennis. Okay, suddenly I'm back in Knoxville, Tennessee. What's happening? Simplicity 4667 is a bus 36. It is going to be a princess line red and goat or tennis dress because you just would leave off the collar. Side buttons along there. That would be irritating personally. But wowzers. Oh, they're technically calling it a daytime dress. So not a red and goat. All right. Oh, oh, you can make the bloomers. So you can make the tennis dress plus bloomers and not show your underwear off to everybody. We love it. <laughs> the 1980s won't let me go. <laughs> we have got Simplicity 6995. I can't even talk. We have got Simplicity 6495 in a bus 36. It's just, it's a perfectly lovely blouse from the 1980s. I'm just being silly. It has got a little bow tie option. It's got gathers through here. It does have some nice poof to the sleeve. So if you wanted to make a slightly blousier long sleeve, this would be a good option for that. By Leona Roach. Wait, who? Leona Racha? Is that an O or an A? Because of their font, I truly can't tell. I'm gonna go Leona Rocha endorses fuss free fit. Also known as it's the 1980s and we're gonna make everything so oversized that you don't need to worry about darts. Am I that meme in that moment? Yes. Well, apparently the 1980s aren't quite done with us yet. We've got Simplicity 6704 and Deanna Troy, anyone? I mean, it's it's not actually the outfit, but like it looks enough like a Star Trek dress to for me to immediately go to Deanna Troy. So it is a lovely little like slight gathered capelet, or you can do just the raglan sleeves into a sh sheath dress. Not a whole lot there. It is going to be a multi-size, so it's a 10, 12, 14. So it'll range from a bust 32 and a half to 36, assuming that it hasn't been cut. If it's been cut, I'll let you know. Oh boy, you're crouchy. <laughs> Yike. Simplicity 2049 has seen better days. The nice little boy's shirt from the 40s. That won't stay. <laughs> but as you can see, it's just a pretty basic shirt that you would make for your sons or smaller male presenting human beings. Yep, and it is very crunchy. Oh, nightgowns. We're into nightgown town. Okay. Simplicity 5030 is going to be a nightgown from the 1970s. We are looking at a medium, which is a size 12 to 14, which means a bus 34 to a 36. Nice large yoke, and you can make it in two different lengths. One has pockets. I mean, here's the thing. Add the pockets. Add the pockets to everything. 1979's coming in strong with Simplicity 9314. This is going to be a multi-piece outfit. It is going to have the unlined jacket and the skirt and the pants as well. The tops, as it says, are not included. Simplicity 9972 in a bus 36. What is on their shirts? Is that an ice cream cone? Optional purchased applique. Not helpful pattern. So either way, it is going to be a knit tunic, pants, and shorts. It's gonna be for knit fabrics only. So if you wanted some of those crazy knits that I found in the estate sale, this would be a good one to buy with that. But yes, this bus 36, quite to the 1970s endeavor. Now we have Simplicity 6753, which is going to be a size 14 teen, 14 teen, 14 teen, say that three times fast, and a bus 34. This is just like a really good basic for your teenager that was looking to like, let's be real. This was mom trying to keep her in the 50s and the modern lines and she wanted to go into the more 60s lines, but this is the pattern that mom bought. So this is the dress that got made. Let's just be honest. That's what happened there. Oh, whereas here we have a very solidly 1950s girl pattern. Simplicity 4060 in a size 12, full skirt, fitted bodice, bolero. This is what they would call the three-way ensemble. Very, very sweet, very floofy, but it does come with the dress and the jacket. So that is, I don't know how we're getting three ways out of this, but you know, creative marketing, we'll go there. And yet another example of the envelopes being removed. Simplicity 9192 does still look factory folded, thankfully, but yes, this is what would occur when the patterns would not sell. Envelopes were removed, shipped back to manufacturer, store would get credit, patterns would go home with the workers or whoever went dumpster diving. Oh no, there are some fun sleeves. 
Simplicity 8365 from the 1960s is a bust 36, but check out the slight bell to this sleeve right here. You can also do a cuffed, more full version or a straight line. I can't tell from this because it got a little tear here, but I feel like it's gonna be a slight mutton. So there's gonna be a slight poof at the top and tapered down at the wrist. Wowzers. It's one heck of a jacket there, y'all. Simplicity 7954 from the 1960s is a bust 40. It does come with the jacket through here. You can also make it in a dress style, it looks like through here. So you would just not put the buttons on. And the skirt and pants come as well. And they are the good bell bottoms. So that's an upside to that pattern. More menswear, you asked for, you shall have. Simplicity 2081 is going to be a slightly smaller men's shirt. It is going to be a chest 34 to 36 button up shirt. This is not the kind where you could do the button up or the polo. It is just the button up with pa patch pocket. Patch pocket. Okay, back on into the 1950s with Simplicity 4375. This is a really good, just very early if you want to get a taste of vintage patterns. This is probably a really good one for you. It's an A-line skirt. It does have three panels in the front and three panels in the back. And it does have a little tab at the belt buckle. So that way you could like start to hone some of your like top stitching details with this one. Speaking of good basics, we are looking at Simplicity 4813 next in a bust 32. So this is a smaller size, but this is another simple to make blouse. It does have a slight Western flare at the back with the sort of curved yoke and the little tab accent down halfway through. And I do like this tab accent along the front as well. Mmm, messy pattern. But you're a bust 38. Mmm. Okay, little dubious through here for Simplicity 2046. Like, here's the thing. I've liked this pattern for a very long time. Of course, the one that's even close to my size is crunchy as snafu on the outside. Crunchy as snafu, what is that? But I don't know, man. That, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this aside also, like, because I might make it, but I'm also like, mm, that could be mold and mildew. Mm, tasty. Mm, don't want to give that away to people. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so I have this exact pattern sitting over in my display because there's an authentic pattern reproduction that I bought this pattern for because I didn't ever think I'd find it. But here it is. Simplicity 4178. This is going to be from the late 50s, or early 60s. It's a hat and clutch pattern. So if I, I don't think I gave it away, but as long as I still have my copy, this will absolutely find a new home because I will not need two copies of this. Oh, more crispy patterns. Yike, 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 yike. Okay, so this one, again, we can see the water damage slightly along the front through here. So it'll be one that I want to check to make sure that it hasn't transferred all the way through. It is Simplicity 1007, though, a bust 35. This is going to be a two-piece dress because it is going to be like a slightly fitted suit jacket through here and an A-line skirt. She is crispity. Crispity, crunchy, peanut buttery. Except don't eat your patterns. Oh, no. Oh, you pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. <sighs> That's fun. It is too small for me to keep. But Simplicity 2507, a bus 36. I, I love this view. I love view one. Look at the drape through there. I'm sure it's the same as view two, but like the bow and the sheerness of it. Oh man, just, ah, mm, ha, so good. But tis too small for me to size up from. Okay. Another crispity crunchity one. I, it's so crispy, it's the number is gone. This is Simplicity 4997. This is another two piece dress. So whoever this was, was like a 34, 35. They must've really enjoyed that for the, maybe the mix and matchability, who knows. But I do really enjoy this. It has a slightly more flared skirt than the previous version, but it is just as crispy. So it's gonna take some extra loving to get there. Oh uh, yeah, shirtwaist dress town. Simplicity 4575 from the 1960s is going to be a bust 36, but a teen size. So the proportions will be slightly slimmer. But yes, this is just a really good basic and it does have that higher neckline. You can either do the ruffle, the Peter Pan or the absolutely no collar. Thank you so much, Alex. I mean, I can't. The 1990s men. It was a special time to live through. <laughs> Beaded trimming pizzazz! Like, mm, 
Yeah, that's, that's a thing that happened in the 90s. Right, you're, oh good lord, this is from 03. No, why was there still beaded trim pizzazz? No, no, we left it behind in the 90s. Why? Okay, what was hiding beneath you? Oh, this little one. It's usually not complete, but I love finding it. I don't know why I'm pitched so high. Simplicity 4915 is the most precious stuffed animal pattern. Just had the little horse, the dog, the bunny, and the kitty cat. It's so cute. A lot of the times these aren't complete, so cross our fingers and our toes. No free toes on the internet though. But yes, we are gonna hope that this one is complete. Ooh, hello Apron Town. Simplicity 2750 in a size medium. Now for aprons, usually that means it is going to be slightly bigger. Yes, so 16 to 18 means that the bust is going to be from a 36 to a 38 for this one. You can either do a full apron or you can do a half apron. And it does, I think this is the one that has the little button so you can detach it if you want to like mix and match. And we shall stay in apron town. Oh, there's no tape there. That was gonna, that's way less exciting. Simplicity 1391, touted as a one yard apron and is one size. It does mean that these lovely bib aprons or half aprons can be done with one yard of vintage fabric, which we tend to find a lot of as we all know. So this would be a lovely use for that. And I don't think it's ever been used. No, definitely not. That is factory folded. Oh my. Oh my. This is like that Vogue pattern I found a while ago. This is Simplicity 3475. It does have a square neckline and it does have a whole lot of tucks that run horizontally, which for me, hard pass, thanks. But I know this does look good on some folks because someone did buy the original one and then ended up making it. It was very sweet. But this one's not for me because it is a bus 34, so this one will find a new home. Ooh, hello there, other summer top that I don't find nearly as often. Simplicity 1624, check that one out. Now this one is gonna be a medium, so this is going to be the 34 to 36 bust range. This one has the button up front, the tie top, the fitted, or the like this halter thing that, in my size, I do not like how it looks on me. You can do whatever you want and wear whatever you want with your body. It is your body. You do with it what you please. But for me, that one is a no-fly zone. I would make that one, or that one. I would make the other three, but it's also too small. And I have one from the earlier over here, still in the maybe pile. Oh, now that one is rad. <laughs> Simplicity 8153 in a bust 34. That is a super fun tie top and summer cutout beach cover up. That's what I was going for. But it does have the cutout in the back. That's where I got my little self turned around there. It does look like you can do the full bikini or you can do pants. Can you do the pants? Oh my heavens, yes you can. Oh, they're calling those shorts. That's a creative use for that word. Oh, well, hello there, Simplicity 5263. You are very sweet. You're a good sheath dress and a cover up. You could also turn it into a vest. I don't know how I feel about that one, but you know, that's neither here nor there. It's bus 36. It's not staying with me. So you make with it whatever you please. And I'm sure it will look spectacular. Yes, dog. I know the mailman's here. Please calm down. My dog, killer of mailmen, except she's not. She just goes to lick them. Simplicity 2925 is another spectacular dress that I do wish was in my size. Because that cute little sweetheart neckline cut out through there is lovely. And I do enjoy how they like eked in the pockets through there. The bolero also is quite spectacular with that oversized collar. I do enjoy that. But tis not for me. Tis not for me. Back into the 70s with Simplicity 5841. This is a bust 36. It's another knit pattern, so that way you use the stretchy fun knits. Or in this case, it makes up a work outfit and a turtleneck. I don't know if I would have gone with that color palette, but that's not, that's not up to me. But yes, it does actually have what they call a stretch knit only rule, and they actually do give you a ruler on the inside to make sure that your fabric fits along with what the pattern says it should. Now it's very hard to find one of these, let alone two of them. Simplicity 2106. There's a second one. This one's a bus 32. How cute. I love that. Still a little salty. It's not big enough, but that's okay. Man, it's... Oh, and look at that. She even took the time to let me know that it's cut and complete from 1957. I appreciate you, friend. Thank you. That's also tend to be what I do when I'm like run out of my little like pre-printy ones. I'm just like, post it. No, go. 
All right, what are you? What? <laughs> oh no! Is that really? Wow, okay. I'm supposed to do 6189. That just took a turn. It was the it was the like the weird legs things. That's what threw me off. But yes, it says blouse and stocking suitable for jersey and knit fabrics only. This is a junior size 13, so it's a bus 33, but man alive that I think the skirt is included as well. Yeah, it is. It, there it is. But like, I do love stocking patterns. They are not for me. I live in Florida. I'm already too freaking hot, but that is, that's hilarious. All right. Staying in the 60s. Simplicity 70, 82. This is a bus size 32. It's going to be just a really good sheath dress. It's got that really long French starting along the side there. And it does come in two sleeve lengths, or you can just do no sleeve, but it's a ruffle. Yeah, there's a ruffle in there. Is it trim? Is it a ruffle? Who knows? You'll have to make it and let me know. And back into the 1970s. With Simplicity 7750, we are looking at another medium. So it's a bust 34 to 36. This is going to be just a either good maxi dress, or you can make a two-piece outfit. So a skirt and a tunic top. Good fall clothing, which I don't get to enjoy because I live in Florida. All right, Simplicity 7450 is going to be a bust 36. This is going to be another one that's size for stretch knits only, but I like this yoked skirt. Skirt? Sh skirt, skirt? No, <laughs> yoked skirt. The pullover top and does that blouse come with it? Top, jacket, skirt, and pants. So no, yes, unclear. A few moments later. Yeah, definitely not the one with the giant top. Nope, nope, nope. Not the one with the giant collar. So it's this top, the scoop neck version, not the crazy large collared blouse. That took far too long for me to figure out. And we have another little boy's pattern, which is, um, hmm, 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 very light, very light. Like, very highly dubious. This is complete. No, don't, don't think so. Definitely missing instructions. So like, that would be very cheap, even if I can get it up on the website. It is a size 16, so it's going to be the one of the larger sizes for the boys. And it is just like a nice light jacket or button-up shirt. But that is not complete. All right. Big old scoop neck. Simplicity 5820. Now, mind you, there's a dickie in the way, so you don't have to show everything off. But yes, you can have the dickie in two links, and it does have that nice drape down through there. I really, I do really like this one. I think for a modern line, you might want to lower it a little bit to your personal preference, or might, maybe you like the higher lines and that's perfectly fine too. But it is a bust 30 and a half, so it's on the smaller end of the spectrum. Ooh, Simplicity 3504. In a bust 34, you've got that really nice boat neckline up through here, and you can either do a larger or a small tie on your little sheath dress. It does also have a more billowy blouse on the top end as well. And skabam. Oh, the bow is so cute. Water. <laughs> Simplicity 5913 is going to be another junior size. So it's another bus 30 and a half. I do like the little kick peats. Kick peats? Kick peats. Kick pleats that are available down on each of the leg sides. But I do also like the big center bow. In case you couldn't tell, I like bows. Holy Christy Brinkley. <laughs> Simplicity 8934 is quite the pattern from Miss Christy Binkley. It's not my vibe, but I will say I enjoy the large sleeves. I like the notched out jacket, and I sincerely hope those insane pants are present because that's spectacular. It is going to be, what size are you? A size 14, so that is a bust 36. How rude. You wanna know what's not included? The amazing effing jacket. This is just for the straight line skirt, the pleated skirt, the pants, and the cummerbund. So you can make the pants, but you can't make the cool jacket. That's lame. Oh, hello. We are back to the 1940s. And I will need to check if I have this one already, because if not, I, this might be mine. This is Simplicity 2104. And despite her slightly shattered front, you can see the scallops through here into the flat panel so you could do a color block up through there, which is mm, so good. And it does have the straight line skirt. It does have like the skinnier gores to make it fit on smaller widths of fabric. You're going in the maybe pile. Ooh, cute skirt pattern. Simplicity 1690. 
sheath skirt. You can either button it up the front, but look at those little like tab accents across there. Again, crossing my fingers that that goes into a pocket, but more than likely, probably not, probably just decor. But it is only a waist 24. Nice capelet. Simplicity 1952. This is probably from the 1950s. Actually, definitely from the 1950s, somewhere in that range. But it is a bust 36. It's a really lovely sheath dress. It has four pockets. Four. Ah, ah, ah. And a capelet. I always do appreciate finding this one, and I have found this one multiple times. And it is very possible that you too have found this pattern. It is Simplicity 2389 from the 1940s in a bust 42. This is a very popular pattern that you find a lot. I want to say it was probably made in a lot of home at classes, but you can see through here, it's got this kind of fun yoke detail where it's like there's a tab and it goes into the cap sleeve. It's, it's a very intriguing pattern. I wish I could eventually find it in my size so that I could make it because that would be fun. Downside is the biggest they make is a 42. Yeah. Simplicity 1353. Excellent. This is a bust 34. Another sheath dress with a slight pleat along the side there. But check out the notch of the collar through here. And then you can tuck a little scarf through that notch. That's what you're seeing right there. That's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Another sweet little girl's dress. Simplicity 4061. This is going to be a size 7. Another fit and flare, but with a slightly, we're still in the like the late 50s, but it does have that like trim through the front. I like how they designed it with the gingham. And of course, in case you forgot the first letter of your name, don't worry, kiddo, we gotcha. A wonderful nightgown pattern. Simplicity, 4972. This one is in a bus 34. You can either make a house dress, which is what they're sort of showing here, a house coat or a peignoir. Either way, Really lovely. More pajamas. Simplicity 2242. This one is going to be a two-piece set. You have got the top with long sleeves, the pants, or you can do a full-on nightgown with the tab accent. Sort of more like a male style of the time nightgown as opposed to the more delicate and feminine of the era. But fun fact, clothes don't have a gender. Boom. Anybody can wear what they want. Ooh. Button accent at the waist. Simplicity 2172. Yes, absolute yes. Adorable. If it was closer, I would keep it. But it's just, it's a good sheath dress, but what you're hiding under the bolero here that you can also make from this is this super fun fitted waist with the double buttons. Oh man. Remember that time? Simplicity 1009. I love this neckline so much. And this one has a cute little like accent underneath and it's a bust 40 and it's from the forties. I'm a nerd. It's fine. But that is absolutely lovely. I would want this version where you would have all the details underneath, but the idea of sizing up the details along with sizing up the dress, I would rather sit in front of a freshly painted wall and blow dry it with my mouth. No. I'm not gonna. It's very sweet. Someone will look fantastic in this and that someone is not going to be me. All right, last of the stack. Usually I save the best for last. I don't know what's in here, but I'm gonna just vote this is the best one and we're gonna leave it up there. We're gonna look at you. Oh, you're fun. You're really fun. This is Simplicity 5920, bust 36. It does have the bow right across the boobs. Boob bow! But it has this fun little inset through here. The idea of setting that in so high up makes me realize why there might be a bow there so that if you F it up, like I absolutely would, uh, you can just cover it with a bow. Oh, that one's nice. Simplicity 1154 and a bust 36. This is very fitted. So it's a high fitted skirt, goes up into an ampere waist. Uh, that one's always so good. I like the little bolero jacket with obviously the little bow. Now we're to Simplicity 4036 with another sheath dress and bolero, but this time with a slightly rolled collar that has a little bow crossover moment through here. It is a bust 38, so for the larger set, hooray, we love that. Uh, yeah, that's what I got, because I'm pretty sure those are pockets in the most awkward spot possible. Why? And, oh nice, jiffy pattern. Simplicity 5363 in a bust 36. It's a V neck, or you can do the high boat neck. Oh, and you could, is it reversible? 
it feels reversible at this point because if you look at the back, it's showing the exact opposite for the back. It's okay. Maybe it's reversible. I don't know. You make it. Let me know. Oh, the 1980s. Yeah, buddy. Simplicity 9806 is a another unlined jacket, a billowy top, and some pants in a bus 36. Oh, that's fun. Simplicity 5355 and a bus 36. Check out the flare of those pants. Dang, that's good. Oh, and this is the one where it has the little pleats on the side. Yeah, that's nice. Wish it was the larger size, but it is not. Oh, this one only stopped at a bus 40. Well, wah, wah. Simplicity 7497. I don't like the 70s though but it's close. No, it's, I, I'm not going to do this one, but it is a swimsuit with a very large cover up and you can do a little cover up jacket as well. I really actually like that floral version the most. That's kind of my fave, but yes, it is a bus 40. Simplicity 63, 67. See, this is why I say don't reproduce the eighties. There's so many of them. Please just use the ones that already exist. Anyway, off that soapbox, we are looking at simplicity 63, 67 in a bus 36. Another good short sleeve top. It does have a little keyhole with a bow accent. And now the random pattern that I have decided is the best in the box, which probably is not, is <laughs> a very sweet and very common pattern. Oops, my bad. Simplicity 4613. It is a really nice blouse pattern. It does have that nice little high standing collar, or you can do a slightly lower down collar or the Peter Pan. Very cute, definitely not the best in the box. So it does look like the, some of the best in the box were toward the earlier end of the video, but I honestly didn't know because I had not looked in the box and the box is now empty. And now we must decide between, um, I did myself no favors this go around. No favors were, no favors were done. No favors, none. I'm only supposed to keep one. Dang it. Okay. I'm going to take this one out of the running. So 2026, it is going to stay with me, but this is going to be a video. So not the personal stash, but it'll go in the Tower of Terror, also known as the Tower of Things that I have not done yet. Okay, now I'm actually gonna put back 2104 because I am pretty sure I have this one or something very, very similar in my personal boxes. Someone else can have that one. <clears throat> Dang it. All I want from this is I just wanna copy out that piece right there. So I feel like I can add that onto literally any other dress. This one can also find a new home once I transfer out that one piece. I don't know. Like, I really want to see how this one makes up. And I just really like the princess line of this one. Mm, I don't know. This is so hard. Okay. As much as it pains me, I'm going to let 1287 go because I have something that's a very similar line, but I think it's slightly bigger. I think it's a bus 42. So that one will also be able to find a new home. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm breaking my own rule. I'm keeping both of these because the thing is one, I'm also not clear that I could even sell this one because it's in such rough shape, but this one I've been wanting to try for so long and I always only find it in the smallest size. And this is the biggest size they made. Oh no, it's not. Oh my God, they made this to a 44? Okay, if you have the 44 and you would like to size down to a 38, let me know. I'll trade you. And if you've made it all the way to the end of the video, hi, thanks for staying. You should probably leave me a comment down below letting me know which pattern was your favorite. And when you are done with that, please head on over to my website, backroomfinds.com, where all of these, probably because I'm very long-winded, are now available. And if you do want to take home a few more, please know that I have also over 3000 other options on my website, just in patterns alone. That doesn't count all the fabric notions, books, and etc. that I have listed over the past month and a half. Either way, folks, I hope you did enjoy this video today. I am sure it was long because I can't possibly be short winded about these things. And until next time, I hope you are sewing in chaos. Bye. All right. I really didn't want to take all these out, but I guess I gotta go in the hole. This is not that hard. That's what she said. <laughs>